Hello, you lovely, lovely people. Uh, welcome to another video. This is Hardcore Blowout. I am Michael Fortman, and you are about to, well, either watch or listen to a uh, story time. From the first story time, I thought I'd tell you why I got the name Hardcore Blello and why I'm making these videos now. It all started about four, maybe five years ago. Uh, it's been year sixth form. Did a few things that I thought I wanted to do and just felt miserably, mostly because I was just constantly distracted by lots and lots of other things. Yeah, so after that, left sixth form. I did eventually get a job for a few months, but different circumstances. I wasn't fired, but certain circumstances I was I left the job and I was just stuck at home for a long time, not really knowing what to do with my life, trying to get different jobs, but whatever reason just didn't happen. So that went on for about a couple of months. And to pass the time, I would just watch whatever I could, you know, as you do, just watching anything and everything. And I think I had a little money from somewhere and went into town and I, I picked up the books of the Saw films, the first four Saw movies, fancy a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah. I watched all four, f the first four Saw films all back to back and I stood outside after watching them having a cigarette and I was, I got myself quite worked up by watching all those films back to back and I was outside having a cigarette and I was so paranoid that something was going to come and get me that I kept on having to peek round the corner and look up the driveway. Anyways, after watching those films and a few days later I considered myself this pretty amazing that some people who have, I've never met have managed to make something to make me feel that paranoid. And that's what really inspired me to get wanting to do something with films. You know, if I could invoke somebody to have some sort of feeling for something that I did and I've never met that person and I don't even know that person's name I think that's pretty amazing it's an amazing feat of modern technology I think so of course applied to the nearest college got in yeah that was quite fun that's where hardcore blower comes from it comes from pretty much the first day of college I think it was um, it was at least the first or second day of college definitely within the first week but first or second day because we've been all split into our crews for the first week where we were just dicking about with the cameras really not actually doing much real work just dicking about learning how to use the cameras and stuff so yeah Anyways, my little group were uh, people similar to me, just, you know, silly humour. Um, yeah, one of the guys said we should have our team crew name be Hardcore with a K because that's cool. Something like that. And... I like the idea of having hardcore, but I think the teacher said something about it had to be related to TV or film or something like that. So I quickly rummaged in my brain for some peculiar word, and that was blello from Malcolm in the Middle. But there was some episode with Reese mixed, what is it? Yeah, blue and yellow together. There was a Green in the vial, but you didn't know the word green, so I called it Blello. And well, I've thought about changing the name Hardcore Blello a few times because it is a little bit unprofessional, you know, 
going to a potential client and saying, Hi, I'm Hardcore Blello. Kind of do just sound like some sort of bizarre German porn company. But at the same time, you know, it's a name that I've been running with for three years. It got me through college. So. Plus it is quite u the unique name. So, maybe if you put it in a search engine of YouTube, you're only going to come up in my videos. I've got no idea. I just like it. Sounds alright. It suits. Bit late to change it now. Alright. Uh, thank you. Thank you for you. <laughs> thank you for watching and listening. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. So, just one comment to reply to from the last video made me laugh. Thanks, Daddy. Anyways, uh, comment on this video, what has most inspired you?